What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcome back to more Let's Play Wave Race 64. In the last episode, we began the Expert Mode Championship and had an amazing run. I can't believe it. Three firsts in a second. And now it's time for it to all fall apart, especially because of what they've done to Port Blue here. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Okay, so what they've done to Port Blue is essentially... Oh, that's a great start. Amazing. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, okay, so you have to go in the narrow path this time. You have to. And not the amorphous song narrow path, as good as that is. No, it's the... Okay, that was actually... I actually did that perfectly. Okay, well, I'll take that. Um, yeah, you have to go that way on every lap now. Also, there is no gap between the jumps now. You just have to go over the jumps. So, and don't turn too far to the right. Otherwise, you're going to knock yourself off. There we go. Good job. All right, well, we can catch up. I think we can catch up. Uh I was complaining about the control stick in the last episode, and we, yeah, it's, it's, it's still a problem. I think, I think it's definitely more of a problem for people who, like, grew up on the Nintendo 64 controller to the point where, like, you know, most people who go back to that controller, I know you guys, like, I, I know plenty of people are like, man, this thing hurts my hands. I never got that when I was a kid. Like, I was used to it so much that I never, it never hurt. It never hurt to use that thing. Um, as opposed to how most people feel about it nowadays. I still like the controller. Um, that's not to say I, t I don't want a better one. In fact, I got a, I got a controller from Retro Controllers. Uh, I believe I believe that's what they're called, um, from a Kickstarter that is that works with the Nintendo 64 that I like a lot better. And someday I'll actually break that out and use that for a Let's Play and talk about it and stuff like that. But um, or maybe just talk about the controller in general because it's a good controller. Wow, wow, I am brilliant. I am brilliant. Um, but at the same time, I still like the Nintendo 64 controller. I just hate modern controllers with Nintendo 64 games. I don't like the Wii U Pro controller. I especially hate the Wii Pro controller with it. And I don't. I also don't like using like. This is too much information. I don't like using. I mean, like PlayStation or Xbox controllers with the Nintendo 64. Like if I'm ever emulating or anything like that. I just I don't like it. It, it doesn't feel right. Okay, so. Twilight City, this one is tricky, so we're gonna, okay, we got a good start. Now, here's the thing, you can't make this jump, so what you gotta do is hold, hold back and then pull, push forward. Blech, I can't even words while I did it, but I did it, and you have to do that on every single lap. That is the only way you're going to make that, okay? Okay, now we've gotten that out of the way. Let's do this thing, and we'll stop talking about controllers, because that is not what this, this is not the, the controller king. This is the squirrel king, and we're gonna freaking get through wave race. We're gonna freaking beat this. I actually, I love this level. I, 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 I always, I, this was actually always one of my favorite levels and probably one of the only quote unquote difficult levels that I didn't actually think that was that difficult. Okay, we gotta do it again. Pull back, push down, there we go. Or push forward, I should say. Pull down, push forward. That's what you gotta do to do the dive. Do the opposite way to do a backflip, which is never a good idea in this mode. You only want to be doing that in stunt mode. And I will be showing off stunt mode, but only for the sake of an Easter egg at the end of this Let's Play. Um, because you'll pretty much get the gist of what stunt mode is when I do that Easter egg. And I'm very excited to show it off because it is a long forgotten Easter egg that I'm sure many people don't necessarily remember even though they remember Wave Race 64. Or they might, I don't know. I think it's really cool regardless. I just geek over the geek out over the fact that old games had cheats that you could actually like, you know, do instead of, you know, paying 12 bucks for Fatality. More brothers. Um, also, I am killing it on this. Are you kidding me? I am killing it. They are way behind right now. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, if I can just keep this up. Oh, oh I almost missed that ramp. That could have been bad. Don't want to miss that one. though. No, that one is mandatory, and we did it! Oh my gosh, we did it! Woo! First frickin' place. He did catch up a little on that last lap, but hey, I did amazing. And I think that right there has completely secured, yep, 15 points. I literally, even if I were to retire in the next two races, I can't uh, lose this. I can't, well, actually, no, I still can. I can lose this via points. Uh, Glacier Coast. This is the new one in Expert. This level is semi-difficult. I would still say it's not as bad as, like, Marine Fortress or Port Blue in terms of difficulty. But, it, it, well, eh, I don't know, actually. It, it takes some getting used to because you have to deal with ice physics in this one where you're, there are no physics. You just slide across them, and also th that happens a lot in this. The good thing is, though, is the AI crashes a lot in this as well. Ooh, frick. The AI crashes a lot as well, so you will have that to your advantage, um, although you can't always bet on it because the AI can be a bit random in this game. 
Which is actually a good thing. I do like that. I like the fact that the AI isn't consistently bad or good. They don't always mess up or do well in the exact same spot. Excuse me, get off the wall! Jeez, gosh dang it. I got like attached to it. That's not good. Hey, new <laughs> best time. I wonder why. Um, all right, let's see if we can hit this turn this time. Don't go into the wall. Yeah. Oh, and then I pulled myself into the other one. Dang it. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I do like the music in this level. I think it's very pretty. And if I could just stop crashing, I think they were both, uh, both Mariner and Stuart were pulling so hard right that then when they fell off the ice, they just immediately wiped out. So that's pretty funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. This level is... I, I take it back. This level is difficult. Holy crap. Like, it's really difficult to get your bearings constantly. But I'm in first right now, so I'm going to take it. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can get the best time of them all. I've learned from my mistakes on the last two laps. Let's not crash into anything on this turn. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, gosh dang it. That's such a hard turn to not crash on. It's such a narrow pathway. There we go. Oh, I didn't fall. Oh, I didn't fall. Get out of my face, Mariner. 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 Would you freaking do Don't do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm a miss. That's okay. I'm in front of here. Go, go, go. I want first. I want first. I want first. Give me first. No. No. Mariner, no. No. Oh, come on. Oh, at least I had my best lap on that one. I can't believe it gave me that buoy when I freaking hopped over it. That was, in that was impressive. Gotta say. You finished second. Whew, barely lost. Okay, now it's victory lap time. Watch me totally get fourth place here, but we did it, guys. We beat Expert. Southern Island time. Yeah, so I guess I couldn't have, like, retired on both. That would have been... I would have gotten eliminated via points, which is still totally possible. You can win the whole cup and still not have enough points to advance, and you'll still lose regardless, because you, you have to meet both requirements. Especially on Expert, it's hard. Oh, my God. Well, this is a great start. Come on, this is Southern Island. This level's freaking easy. Okay, Stuart, get out of here. Come on, I gotta, I gotta step my game up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're in first again. We are in first. Two people crashed. There's only one person on my tail. Guy, just gotta keep this up. Oh, don't. Oh, 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 oh. He's so twitchy. Oh, he's so twitchy. Oh, Jeter, you're so twitchy. Okay, you can do this around. Hello, killer whales. Hello, free willy. Pardon me. I'm just riding along. Freaking get out of here, killer whale. Go. Go be in the first level of Sonic 06. Go away. Go fling Sonic over the gate. Oh my gosh, that freaking game. Um, I still want to let's play that at some point. I know I like did a playthrough of it and then I just stopped. Um, in the I need to, I want to do that at some point. Like I want to and I also don't want to. Okay, can I get off the sand? Um, I want to and also don't want to because I unironically like love that game for how terrible it is But at the same time it does get incredibly long boring and tedious in parts and no Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on I'm gonna get a third now so much for the victory lap Ugh. Dang it all Freaking no, I can get second. I can get second. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I'm not gonna get Oh, I wanted to at least crash at the end, but I couldn't even do that right. Oh, well. I still won on Expert, and I got i got to be honest with you guys. This was, like, attempt number 15 for me, because this, this game is actually legit difficult. But I did it, and I never got fourth, so I'm pretty happy about that, too. Yes! Okay. And now we get our slightly different victory screen. And we get to finally see what Jeter looks like. He's a freaking pretty boy with a blonde hair tied back and well I guess not tied but it's definitely a guy like some sort of comb over going on and also they all got Lego legs along with their Lego trophy stand and their Lego trophy like, seriously I'm I would not be surprised if there was legit like a Lego Wave Race 64 set that came out back then if there is I'm going you know what I'm going to google this and then I'm going to see in editing if there is and if there's not I will be Posting a sad emoji right now, and if there is, I am going to post a picture of the box. Because this totally seems like a thing that would fit. Does it not? It's a great Lego idea, Lego co collaboration idea. Anyway, we did it. Expert mode complete. And now we get all of our times, some of which were bests, some of which were not. Most of the 
Well, Marine Fortress was my best, which is sad considering that was one of my worst races. Twilight City was definitely my best. That was a great run. That was that and Drake Lake are what I'm most proud of out of this entire thing. Absolutely. Like I'm I'm pretty impressed with myself on those. And we killed it! We won by a pretty handy amount. I mean, granted, I got lucky that the AI just kept interchanging with one another. But uh, now we can challenge the next class. Oh boy, I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Wave Race 64. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.